Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing some tech again and today's video is going to be quite short. Today we are reviewing the Yonker Fingertip Pulse Oximeter. This model is the YK81C model from Yonker. Yonker is a Chinese brand and they produce good quality products. In most countries you will find that they are FDA approved. So the Yonker Fingertip Pulse Oximeter, the YK81C, goes for about 20 US dollars. Now this product is used for two things. You can use it to check your pulse and you can use it to check the oxygen saturation in your blood. So let's open up the box and see what we get inside. When we open up the box, we find three things inside. We find our pulse fingertip oximeter inside. And then we also find the instruction user's manual. And we find a little bracelet rope thingy that you can tie to the oximeter. The fingertip oximeter here on top so you can carry it around easily. This fingertip pulse oximeter has a OLED display so it's organic LED and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. So how do we power this oximeter? At the back we just slide it open and then inside is two AAA batteries needs to be fitted inside. It doesn't come in the box. So yeah I have two AAA Panasonic batteries that I'm going to put in the oximeter to power it on and then we're going to test it. So this fingertip pulse oximeter only has one button. Underneath the screen, there's a button, a silver button, and it has power on. You can take the plastic off the screen that comes on the oximeter. When you press the button, it will switch on. Then you take your finger and you put it inside. And it's checking the pulse. And then it gives you the oxygen saturation number and also the pulse. By clicking on the button, it just changed the display mode of the data, the pulse and the blood oxygen saturation level. So top down or down top or left to right. So it's very easy, just with the click of a button, you switch it on, you put your finger inside. I've read that people say it's best to use the middle finger. You put it inside and then it will display the info. So my pulse there is 69 and my blood oxygen saturation is 99. Now what is the accuracy on this Yonker fingertip pulse oximeter? For your blood oxygen saturation, it's about 2%. So if it shows 99, the lowest it would be is 97. When it goes below 90%, then the accuracy goes down. But above 90%, it's plus minus 2% and for your pulse plus minus one. So that's pretty accurate. It will give you a good indication. When you take your finger out, you just wait a couple of seconds and there's automatic shutdown. On the display, it also shows you low voltage if the battery is low. If it is on, then you can long press the power button and it will give you the settings. When you click the power button, it moves down the menu. And when you long press the power button, then it switches between the different options in that specific menu like on or off or high or low or medium so you can adjust the brightness of the oximeter you can adjust the sounds you can put an alarm so that's something that's quite useful so even though there are four viewing options for the information as you can see it's only in the default mode where it really shows you the wave and you can really see the pulse very nicely so i usually just keep it in the default so for the best accuracy, you just use this oximeter with your middle finger for a couple of times to get an overall average view of what your blood saturation is and your pulse. Sometimes it can be a little bit off, so you want to take a couple of tests and just average it out. So lots of people will tell you that a fingertip oximeter is more accurate than some of the uh, fitness watches that you get and things like that, because how this fingertip oximeter works is that there's, when you put your finger inside, there's a red light that shines on the one side, and then there's a sensor on the other side, 
and with that red infrared light or whatever it is they can easily measure how long it takes to travel through the distance of your finger i think maybe before you've tried it you put like a flashlight behind your finger and it's like almost like you can see through your finger so it uses different technology than on a fitness watch and things like that that's just around your wrist and so lots of people say that this is a little bit more accurate okay guys so that's our yonker fingertip pulse oximeter quite useful small nice to carry around not heavy so if you're interested in something like this go and get yourself one today and see you guys in the next video